Hello and welcome to this section of the Calculus 1 Derivative Help Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to continue working related rate problems. We're going to finish up this uh, concept of related rates by working a few last problems here just to kind of give you more practice. Just remember the big picture is the process is the same as all of the other problems before. We're just giving you a lot of experience with different types of problems because that's the only way we learn this stuff. Okay, this problem says we have a boat coming into a dock. Above the land here on the dock is a pulley system, and this pulley has a string that goes over it and ties to the boat that's in the water. Uh, we're pulling on this rope, uh, which is pulling the boat into the dock. All right? The pulley is five meters above the ground on the dock, and the boat is uh, 12 meters out. So the boat is, is coming toward the dock at a rate of two meters per second, how fast is the rope being pulled in when the boat is 12 meters from the dock? So a lot of information here, but basically you're standing on the dock, there's a pulley above your head, it's five meters above the ground, so it's a pretty high pulley. There's a rope that goes over it and that goes down and grabs to the front of the boat. So we're pulling this pulling and, and, the, and the boat is inching forward. So the boat is coming in at a rate of two meters per second. Because of, because of our pulling, eventually it's going to get a distance of 12 meters from the shore. Question is, how fast do we need to pull this rope uh, at the moment when that boat is 12 meters out into the water com coming in at this rate? Um, without calculus, this would be just a really hard problem to even visualize, much less solve. First thing is, let's draw a quick picture, as always. So what we're going to have is a little boat. So draw yourself a little boat out here. Right? It's a pathetic little boat, but there it is. Okay, And then over here uh, is going to be, I'm going to say, the dock. And then here's a pulley. And then here's me or somebody else, you know, smiley face over here. And then what we have is this rope, basically, that goes over the pulley and then down to the boat. So we're pulling it like this. Now this distance here, uh, this distance here is five meters. And the moment that we're really, really interested in is the distance from the boat to the dock, which is 12 meters. And we're also given that the boat is coming in at a velocity of 2 meters per second. So this is really all the information that's given to us. The pulley is 5 meters above the ground, uh, where the boat is coming in at 2 meters per second. And at the moment that this guy is 12 meters out, what I'm interested in is how fast am I have to pull in, do I have to pull on this rope, really is what it is. So it's instructive, and I've told you this a few times already, to draw two different diagrams. One of them with just the numbers from the problem. The other one may be a little more analytic with some variables. So we're going to have to write some variables here so that we can take some derivatives. So here's the pulley again. Uh, here's the dock again, like this. Here's me on the dock again. Okay, now let's draw our rope, same as before. So, so far, really, it's all the same. So we come over here, down like this. Okay. Now notice what we have. If you do this, basically you've formed kind of like a right triangle here. It's not kind of, it is a right triangle when you think about it. And the moment that I'm really interested in uh, is given above when I'm 12 meters out and here's the speed coming in and all of that. But in terms of, of, of labeling with variables, I'm going to call this distance x because I'm approaching the dock at 2 meters per second. So I'm going to call this x and that's going to eventually translate to my velocity coming in as dx dt is 2 meters per second. I'm going to call the slant distance r, and I'm going to label this just with a number 5. There's no reason to put y here because it never changes. Really, the only reason you put a variable down is if it changes. So this guy is going to change as the boat gets closer. This distance r is going to change as the boat gets closer, but this distance